wasn't fucking up on purpose. I'm being serious. It's so much better to like eliminate expectations from the get. Then you're playing with house money. If you're scared of other people's opinion, fuck up on purpose, then everybody thinks you suck shit, then it's all upside. To do better than I did last year. That's it? Daily resolutions, motherfuckers. That's it. Everybody's making New Year's resolutions right now. Can't wait. Put on your calendar. February 19th. How's your New Year's one going? <laughs> I know how it's going. Not well. You gotta make the binary switch. But like, I'm gonna work a lot. I'm not gonna have excuses anymore. Then things can happen. That was all just to buy an extra minute of rest. <laughs> <laughs> because it was a tactic to do a New Year's resolution. Hence why my first answer was right, which is when you actually decide to make a change in your life, whether about weight or job or going out with somebody or relationships, that's when you actually pull it off. It's religion, not tactics. People should make New Year's resolutions if they're actually watching this video on January 1st. If they're watching it on December 23rd, they should make December 23rd resolutions waiting miraculously to when the calendar flips to start making your life better is silly at best and pisses me off at worst. And so whenever you're watching this, make a resolution every day of your life because you only get one at bat. I know my dad and my dad is like doesn't believe in me and that's cool and whatever but I don't want to like talk to them about it when they're not going to like... Don't talk to them better. So just like fuck off with that? Yeah, just limit it. Because then they're like on my ass, like, oh, what are you doing? Wearing do you, school do you live in their home? Yes. You gotta get out. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Don't try. Just do it? Yes. Find a roommate. Find a roommate. Crash at a friend's house. Like, go more humble and live in a shitty, shitty, shitty fucking place. You understand? I do. I started working full time in the liquor store. I've been working in the store since I was 14, but this is it, I'm done with college. Worked a little few hours when I drove home from college my last day, but the next day was the first day. It was so weird, I hated school my whole life. And that was it, like I walked into the liquor store and I never had to go to school again. It was like crazy, it was the best day of my life. And I didn't even think about popping out until I was 32. Not a party, nothing. Now, I've got kids emailing me like, Gary, yeah, I've been doing my new business for about four months and I hit a real wall. I'm like, four months? You didn't hit a wall? You haven't even gotten out the gate, but you're not even in the car. You're like still sleeping in your bed. It's all long game. How much are these things right here? What? These? For 10 for the lot? Maybe seven. I would take these for two. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day, my friend. Holy shit, Thai guy. I mean, there's a whole slew of stuff in here. Matchbox speed controller. This one single controller, 16 bucks. Rolls. 15 to 30. Wow. Wow. I paid five for the whole box. Riding a bike, kissing a boy or girl, swimming. It seems super scary until you do it and then you just laugh about why it felt so scary. Like if you go do that thing and live more humble, you could always get a job again. Nobody was thrilled that they played it safe. Who the hell's permission are you looking for to do your thing? Like, is it your mom? Is it society? Is it your partner? Is it the people that are commenting in your social media? And I can't even like contain it. Like, very simply, like, like, can you answer this for me? Whose fucking permission are you looking for? Go do your thing. You're gonna die. Nothing's gonna happen unless you do something. Please stop looking for permission. Please go do that thing you wanted to do. Ask that person out. Start that company. Quit that fucking bullshit job. You can always get another bullshit job. Stop asking for permission. Make the end of this year the moment that you finally start living your fucking life. Yes. How did that shape you? I think it shaped me a lot, you know? Not having a lot at a young age is a very big advantage. You know, it's very hard to be hungry when you've been fed. How do you eat chicken wings? Literally every single piece and like break the bone and eat the marrow like I leave nothing. Unbelievable. Eat the bones, motherfucker. I wake up one day and now people don't die, I'm gonna be pissed. If it says everybody under the age of 25 will not pass away, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna be like, I fucking missed it by 19 years, this is some bullshit. I would be fucking punching 19 year olds in the face. Like, just running around her like. 
Do not overjudge yourself. Okay. That's the key. That is? Of course it's the key. Root for yourself instead of booing yourself. Okay. I love it. How, how do I live my dream, Gary? I don't have time, I have mortgages, bills, my job. Talk to me about your bills. Why is your car so fancy? Why do you need the new Gucci every time? Why are you going out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? Like, why are you going to Coachella? Like, why are you going to Avengers opening night and buying the biggest piece of popcorn and candy? It's not how much money you make or how much time you have, it's what you're spending your money on. Business idea number three. Uber, but for dogs, and, and all pets actually. And what, what it could be is dude, you call- dude, just stop. You're a great kid, but all three of these business ideas are missing a core thing. You have to scratch your own itch. Trash talk mm -hmm. was because I was passionate about garage sailing. Right. And so I created this business. Like for example, I flip these little cars. Do you understand? Wait, Gary, that's it. That's, that's what we could do here. What? You could actually just flip them. What do you Dude, think, that is impressive. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Yes. So you do the finding. Yes. I do the flipping. I like Instead that. Instead of selling these cars for $5 a pop, let's go for 300 I love that. Yeah, business partners? Let's do it. 50-50. Ah, uh, that's a little steep, bro. Uh, selfie? All right. All right. It's not about 365 days of complete insanity. It's about 265 days of complete insanity. And you know, in 100 days of really resting and giving you the energy to have that insanity. Next business idea. You do a ton of speaking, right? Yeah, I'm actually headed to one right now. Okay, so I'm thinking just at the end of your show, I know you're high energy. I'm ridiculously high energy. Yeah, but add a little bit more pizzazz, a little magical moment pizzazz. at the very end in the finale. So what's your thought? So I introduce you, the magical mic drop. Here, take it, try it. So you're just gonna say mic drop and... Just say mic drop. Mic drop. Oh, oh. And the crowd goes wild, and like Gary does magic, and then you head off stage. What? Dude! Oh, this might be more dangerous than I thought. Business idea number three. I would prefer every technology knew everything about me. If somebody is creeped out that their refrigerator reordered their milk, they're more than welcome to not. I keep reminding people, I'm like, don't have a smartphone. Gary, this all sucks, it's all terrible. Delete Facebook. I did, but you're on Instagram. Yeah, but I like it. <laughs> My ambition is to go to Mars. <laughs> To go to Mars? Oh, yeah. You're telling me your ultimate ambition is to go to Mars. So you're hustling to go to Mars. You should literally document your journey to Mars, bro. I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, good luck. Let's move on. I mean, listen, I, I think that would, listen. That's an interrupt. I've never heard that before. He's selling books because he wants to go to the world. Bro, bro, TikTok is so, let, let me tell you why it's, let me, let me give you, let me, hey, is anybody listening? Why is Gary so fucking dope? That's my question. Is this Gary's camera? Why is Gary being so dope? That's a really good question. That's a fucking great question. That's a really question. good question. Kev, this is why I fuck with you so heavy. The amount of fucking work you put in. No, no, I, no, like honestly, from like one of the few other people that actually work that much, they just don't know. So much. And you know the best part is? You haven't even like, you haven't even started. No. Dwayne, are we cooking something up? We are not only cooking something up, but cooking something up big. Big. <laughs> Zach, Gary just went live. Oh yeah? He just went live. Like yeah. Live live? Yeah. Oh, dude, here. Get the camera, I got an idea. Wait, what are you doing? I am what? What? what the heck? Dude, hey, Gary. Hey. So good to meet you, finally. What are you set. doing? Yo, no. D-Rock, thank you so much. Tyler, who is this dude? Tomorrow, type in Shanghai Shek and like everything and watch your news feed change. Tomorrow, type in Beyonce. Tomorrow, type in Pineapple. Tomorrow, type in Red Watches and watch your news feed change. Facebook's not manipulating you, you're manipulating Facebook. It's time to take ownership. To post a lackluster or poorly shot video if yes. you don't have the proper equipment yes. or is it better not to post at all? Number one. Number one. But what if it doesn't put you in the light that you feel at your company? Then you're insecure and think that production value is the light you're in, not the words coming out of your fucking mouth.
Understood, 100%. Martin Luther King's great speech is not in color and high def. Well, that's true. I know it's true. <laughs> Absolutely true. The end. In 2001, it snowed in New Jersey on December 23rd. A woman called us, we just started shipping, and her case of Behringer White Zinfandel wasn't delivered. The entire 15-pack case cost $45. We're doing about $40,000 an hour in the store. She calls and we're debating what to do. She needs it for her Christmas dinner. I grab the case, throw it in my car, and drive to Bergen County to deliver it. It takes me two and a half hours to complete the whole thing. And the best part was, I delivered it, all pumped with myself, and she said, great, and closed the door. Awesome. Everybody, especially my dad, who was pissed that I left because all the customers that came in asking for me, everybody was baffled. Driving through the snow in my car to deliver a case of $45 pink shit to a woman that looked like Yoda was. But I can tell you this, that story became the foundation of how we treated every single customer. There are way too many fuckers running businesses today with this, and not enough people running businesses with this. Thick it. The New York Jets kicker followed me on Instagram. I was like losing my mind on a plane last night. Like, thick. Like, DM them. He's like, hey, you know, like, who were some of those early people for you? There were so many. It was like Chase, Taylor, Bryce, all of them. Mackenzie Ziegler followed me. It was right after I did my first ever interview with Famous Birthdays, and I had just hit 500,000. And I had said in my interview, I really want to dance with Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler one day. Then she followed me, and I was like, what is going on? What do I do? Why is, why is, why is this happening? She was like, hey, I just made a song. Like, do you want to do a TikTok to it? And I was like, of course. Like, yeah. And she posted posted it on her Instagram story and I was able I was able to meet her at an event and it's just like what is my life I get it did you do 20 for this? My son's not here. He's sitting Can you call him? He's at the call him. Thank you, brother. Call 20. dad. <laughs> but there's a customer that wants to know for the train. Can we do it for $20? That's fine. Yep, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for calling, brother. Oh boy, big start. Yep. asked what wine goes best with the crunch wrap supreme so this uh, Syrah is from Chile and snippy sniff kind of got that huge licorice you remember purple nerds candy put that in the microwave get it to a reduction sauce and that's coming across charred a barbecue top of like bay back short ribs on the palate flowers and going with the spiciness and the meats and the cheeses Perfect harmony. So you still actually taste the supreme, the meats and the spices, but the wine coexists. Dances a perfect dance. Yo, so TikTok, fun facts. Number one, giraffes are ridiculously underrated. Number two, unicorns are not real. Negativity, no matter where it comes from, is always right. Always. I promise you, I promise you, if you focus, find, go find positive real shit, because smoking weed doesn't mean shit. Negative parents doesn't mean shit. Just focus. It's all, look for the positivity. I promise you, it's fucking there. Thank you. Thank you, Take care, bro. Got a little tactical thing that might help you. Take a step back and become a super narrow niche expert in a certain genre, AKA 1980 to 1984 Smurf Dynamics. T. You love tea. Go deep into tea. Take a photo of every tea leaf ever from every fucking angle ever. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've seen this over and over. This is true pattern recognition. This is not my intuition. You're gonna win twice. You get to be fruitful in your craft and you get to do it around the thing that you most narrowly love. It's interesting. Only way I know for somebody who has time and a little bit of money, the number one thing is flipping. You can't do much with Mm $1,000. So for me, the one place to take $1,000 and make it 10000 is garage sales and flea markets and thrift stores and dollar stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Mm-hmm. It's all just work. Download the Amazon and eBay apps, scan shit for an hour or two, and people are just not putting in the work. I have to learn Christmas. I have to learn Christmas. I have to learn Christmas, man. Oh, God, I gotta learn Christmas. God damn it. God damn Christmas. Gotta learn Christmas. It's so obvious that there's so much opportunity, but I don't know anything. I just don't know Christmas. This is nine. Really? It's right here. Christmas. Christmas. How much is this? Mario. 
Get out of here! Get out of here! A dollar. Thank you, brother. Great to see you, man. Say well. Bye-bye, everyone. Social media is making people do more shit in real life. Like literally some dude is hiking right now just for the fucking Instagram photo. <laughs> Everybody here now is not only themselves but they're the PR agent of themselves for what they're putting out. People are going to more concerts than ever because of that whole dynamic. Everything is based on the ability to consume it. Twitch and Mixer and YouTube, right? The world where actual consumption is and will continue to grow in is native to esports more than it's native to the other sports. You might not get the 64 year old TV watcher, but you completely own everybody under the age of 25. It is easier for 13 year old Charlie today to consume esports than the NHL or the NBA. The end. Mm -hmm. Happiness cannot be the success because then what the process of trying to become successful has to be the happiness, because if it's success, then you're fucking sad. When I was in this store 20 years ago, 15 years ago, grinding, mm -hmm. that was the happy part. Gotcha. Like you guys walking in and me carrying a fucking two yeah. you gotta love the process. Mm -hmm. if, I was, if it was about what I am now, I would've lost. Yes. Look at the deer, look at the deer. Oh, this it. deer is trying to get my money. Hey Bambi, hey Bambi, you're not getting it bro. I'm getting it, Bambi. I'm getting it. That's right. You better run. <laughs> I gotta thank you, dude. Like, I started flipping over the summer. Yeah. Dude, I, dude, I'm oh, trying to. Dude, fifteen thousand dollars in six months is bonkers. Well, it's all there. People don't want to hear me. Right, Proud of you, bro. Good one. shit. How you do something is how you do everything. And I've heard that a lot and I get it, right? Which is like be disciplined, be good at the process. I actually just don't believe in it at all. I actually think that when you deploy self-awareness and you really get to know yourself that there are certain things that you love so much you go hard and there are certain things that you don't like at all and you go soft. Like, I don't do entrepreneurship the way I did school. I think we need to have much more of a conversation of like self-awareness. Like who are you? What are you about? What do you like? What's your process? We're so, so different. I actually think how you do the things that you love the most is usually the indicator of your happiness and success. Visco girl? Sorry? You know that the 14 year old teenage girls have fully taken over the white on white Air Force Ones? <laughs> you don't know about this. No, I don't. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to really change up your sneaker game. We're getting that on camera? Oh, she does this shit on me on camera. That was no, not I shitting on you, that's me trying said, to help I mean. you. The thrill of rolling up on a street with a fluorescent sign and not knowing what's about to be in that person's yard. Sure. Knowing that I might find a 1954 Green Lantern cereal box. Like the thrill of the hunt, mm -hmm. my process. I don't want, like I want to try to buy the Jets more than I actually want to own them. Yeah. Like the thrill of the hunt is my high. Hey everybody, it's Gary Bay, Nerd Chuck, and 2012 is upon us. Talk about how I predict the future. We'll go with some hardcore ones. Let's talk about Facebook without a Facebook prediction. Mobile, mobile, mobile. Where I see Facebook's opportunity is in mobile. There's an app actually out there that's causing a lot of noise and I'm making a big prediction on this one. I am predicting that Facebook acquires Instagram. And I just have this funny feeling that the Zucks is gonna look at that talent, look at that app, bring it in-house, use it. And that's my big one, Facebook buys Instagram. How much are the stuffed animals? Oh, 50 cents. 50 cents, <laughs> good. SpongeBob, maybe? All right, stuffed animals continue to be my score. 50 cents a pop, Dumbo, Disney Store, Snuffleupagus, and this one's gonna be a beast. The FAO Schwartz, FAO Schwartz Giraffe. No, it's not. Why not? That one looks sadder than the other one? <laughs> No, look at the patches on the eyes. Oh, weird, it says Toys R Us on the, on the other tag. It does? Yeah. So it is the FAO Schwartz Je Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey. Wow, it's the $30 one. So we just looked it up, the, uh, the Jeffrey uh, Giraffe Toys R Us FAO Schwartz combo, 30 bucks. Love to. Paid 50 cents. I don't know what else to say. The reason I never needed a fancy car or fancy apartment or fancy clothes or fancy things was because I didn't yearn for them and I definitely wasn't going to do them for somebody else. Most people do shit for other people. Do some people love the leather of a car or the horsepower? Yes. Do some people like love having a home that has nine rooms they never use? Sure. But you understand? 